Hello everyone and welcome. So I wanted to make a relatively long video detailing my progress on the instrument and sort of showing some of the work that I've done on it, but unfortunately I've been very sick over the past few days. So today is just going to be a very low effort video discussing some discoveries that I made about this instrument. So sit back and relax because we're going to talk about whoops, reeds. So, what is there to talk about reeds about this instrument? It uses a B-flat contrabass mouthpiece and should use B-flat contrabass reeds. However, when I made my first video detailing the sound demo of this instrument, I wasn't actually using a B-flat contrabass reed. I happened to be out at the time and I was actually using a Barry Sachs reed. And as many of you pointed out in the video, um, the response of the instrument was quite poor, and most of that was because I was just trying to control it so I wouldn't squeak. So obviously I had to order some B-flat contrabass reeds. Now you would think that if I'm just using a contrabass mouthpiece, I would just order the same contrabass reeds I would use on any contrabass clarinet. But I was thinking about it, and I decided for several reasons that this wouldn't be a good idea. So. To explain what I'm talking about, imagine a small bore basset horn. Now, a small bore basset horn is an instrument that actually goes lower than your standard alto clarinet. However, it uses a B-flat soprano mouthpiece. So, what would happen if you were trying to play your regular B-flat clarinet setup on a basset horn? Well, you would find that it would be very stuffy, it would be very hard to play, and it just wouldn't come out well. And especially the response would be poor. So, I figured that since I was trying to use too hard of a reed on too large of an instrument when I used the uh, Barry Sachs reed, I figured that I should try something a lot softer on this instrument. So what I did was I actually ordered some contrabass reeds in strength one and a half. Now normally these would be way too soft to use on any contrabass clarinet. However, for this instrument, they actually make the response in the lower register quite a bit better. So I'll just try and demonstrate right now. And it was definitely better than it was. I apologize, it's not perfect. I not feeling great so it's kind of hard to play this thing but um the response is definitely much better with the correct softer read and um another small change that i made is originally i had the mouthpiece come in at a 45 degree angle because this is what i've always found was best on bass clarinet they call it a um a bay style neck after charles bay who did that modification to bass clarinets very often but for some reason, when the mouthpiece goes in at a, almost a flat angle, I find I have a lot easier time hitting those low notes. I don't really know why that is. It doesn't really make any sense to me, but it works, so I guess the instrument's going to stay like this for now. So that's pretty much all I've uh, discovered on this instrument. Um, I did install a, another key. This is the um, F sharp, C sharp key. Uh, it's obviously not connected to the levers, so the one of the next thing I have to do is I have to put two levers on this joint. This is going to get turned around, then I'm going to use these linkages to connect the levers, so when you push the lever, it pulls this key down, or it pulls this key up. Um, I also installed a few um, other keys on this joint, as well as a uh, thumb rest. These are mostly just for ergonomics, just to see where they're going to fall. Eventually, of course, they will have keys on them. But uh, yeah, that's just the update of the instrument. Um, sorry this is kind of a short video. I promise once I'm feeling better, I'll make a much better, more detailed video of my progress. And hopefully in a few weeks I'll have, I'm hoping to have the lower joint at least mostly done by Christmas. Although I think this is kind of an ambitious goal and I'm not sure it's gonna happen. But we'll see what happens and I'm just gonna go from here. So all right everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please, if you have any interest in this project, consider subscribing. Also, leave any comments, questions you have down below. I'll try to answer them. Great. Thanks, everyone.